The U.S. Supreme Court rules that putting people in prison because they can't afford to pay court fines is unconstitutional. The law requires that before jailing someone for unpaid fines, the court must hold hearings to determine whether or not the individual is financially able to pay the fines. That makes sense. Because if two people commit the same offense and one walks away free because they can afford to pay a fine, but the other one goes to jail because they can't afford the fine, that is clearly penalizing someone more just because they're poor. That is not just, and that is not how we do things here in America, right? Wrong! Apparently that's just how we do things, or at least that's how they do things in Ohio. The ACLU released a new report called The Outskirts of Hope, which reveals that courts in seven counties across Ohio regularly are imprisoning people who can't pay court fees. Not only is what they're doing in Ohio unconstitutional, it sucks. For most people, if they get caught speeding, they get a ticket and they pay their fine and they go about their daily lives, probably continuing to speed like the impatient jerk they are. For Ohio's poor, though, they get a ticket they can't pay, and then they face contempt of court charges, more fees, arrest warrants, and eventually even jail time. The ACLU report profiles people who have lost their jobs, their homes and their health, and time with young children because they couldn't afford to pay court-imposed fines. Just imagine that. Imagine getting a parking ticket, not being able to afford that fine, being jailed for that, and then losing your job because you couldn't show up on time because you were in jail for not being able to afford a stupid parking ticket. That is sad, and that is wrong, and that is happening in Ohio a lot. Now, clearly they received a fine for double parking or speeding or committing a similar offense that is minor enough to incur only a fine. And they shouldn't have committed that offense, and they should face a consequence. Because in general, there should be consequences for bad behavior. And I wholeheartedly agree with that. Which brings me to my next point, which is... You have to be kidding me with this, Ohio. Here in the US, rich white collar criminals get away with practically everything because they can buy their way out. You shouldn't be able to commit crimes and face zero consequences because you're rich, but that's exactly what happens here in the US, where money reigns supreme. So, rich people get away with horrible crimes to society because they are rich. That's bad enough, America. But now, we are tipping the scales even more by giving poor people way stronger consequences than they deserve just because they are poor, to the point where they can't pay your stinking fines. Rich CEOs break our entire economy and face zero consequence. Poor people commit low-level offenses and go to jail, while people with money just pay a fine. Welcome to the American justice system. Tonight, let's talk about that by following me on Twitter at The Resident.